Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Please always subscribe and like my videos. Thank you for today is prayer. We always pray, but do we understand the meaning of prayer? Prayer is speaking or communicating with God, the creator of the universe, the I am that I am, the Jehovah Jireh. Prayer is more powerful than everything on this earth. But my question is, how is our prayer life? How is your prayer life? Do you see the face of God in everything you do? God is there to guide us, to protect us, to give to us. He is the architect of our and life. And He is ready to listen to us all. How many times do you pray? And how many times have you prayed to God? To just thank Him for the gift of life. Some of us don't pray, and we have forgotten that prayer connects us to God. Every day we wake up and we are after our business, what to eat, what to wear, how to make money, but we have forgotten the easiest way to get all that. And this easiest way is prayer, speaking to God. I want to tell you that prayer is the most powerful thing in this universe and nothing can take the place of prayer. It doesn't matter the number of times you have prayed when God is, is not angry. He's, he, he's quiet. It doesn't matter. But you just told yourself, God don't love me. He's not answering my prayers. God has rejected me. And I'm tired of praying. No, that shouldn't be your solution. Told yourself, God is deaf to my prayers. How long will he take to answer my prayers? All your hope are gone and you don't have faith anymore. But I want to tell you that God created you. You shouldn't be discouraged. You shouldn't be weak. He knows what is best for us. He knows the time to answer us. Maybe that particular thing you've been praying about is not right for you or that is not the time for you to get it. You should know that Jesus Christ prayed. He didn't just come to teach us about prayer. Rather, he has lived a life full of prayer. If Jesus Christ came to this world and he has died on the cross of Calvary for our sins and he had prayed in everything, how much more you and I? The scripture says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, Pray without ceasing. We must never stop praying, no matter what we go through. Because with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19 verse 26 even said that. You should know that when we pray, we will be anointed. When we pray, wisdom will come. If you pray, you'll be used by God. If you pray, pray favor will come. Doors will be open to you. There wouldn't be any closed door for you. You will be blessed financially in your business, in your home. Your marriage will be blessed and everything you need will come to you. 
and that is if only you pray I want us to trust God because he is the only one in everything let's lean on God because when people or family or friends around us are gone he will be the only one to guide and to protect us to clean our tears so what is preventing you and I from praying you need to get to your knee and pray to God tell him father forgive me strengthen me cuz i need you in in my life i know that god will answer you we need to invite god in our lives let's invite him to come and take place in our hearts let us invite god in every decision we make in everything we do cuz he is ready to accept us he is ready to come into our lives and stay for door to be open unto us no matter what you've done wrong know that god is a throne of grace In everything let us seek the face of the Lord no matter where you are he will come and rescue he, he is ready to handle you like an egg which no human can do for you do not worry just pray and all will come to you